beauties and welcome back to my channel so good to have you here happy new year how are you doing hope you're doing great so let me know where you're watching me from it's a new year and i'd love to know where you're watching me from so before we start today i'd love to say happy new year happy new year we are in 2022 it's going to be for us an amazing year like i can feel it this year is going to be a great year in this year we are going to achieve our dreams we're going to achieve our goals and we are going to come back at the end of this year to say thank you to god because it's going to be a good year in jesus mighty name amen okay so before i jump right into today's video i'd love to introduce myself my name is chika i am a nigerian youtuber based in abuja nigeria and a mom of three i share content ranging from motherhood food diy and homemaking so if these are the kind of content you like then please join my family by clicking on the subscribe button yes that red subscribe button please click on it it's free and turn on your bell notification so you get notified immediately i post a new video i'd love to have you here so today we are going to be talking about reasons why you should set goals yes reasons why you should set goals it's a new year and it's time to start on a new slate so now is a good time to set some goals. What is a goal? A goal is an aim. A goal is your desired result. A goal could be the end point. So you need to understand this and know what, what desired results do you want to see this year? What are your aims and what are your end points for this year? 2022 the first reason why you should set goals is because you need to be able to do what define success goals help you define success what is success to you what does success means to you at what point in your life will you say okay i am successful now i want you to understand that there are different phases of life there are different aspects to life. So when you're looking at success, we're not looking at it at the holistic aspect. We're looking at it in different areas. Are you successful financially? Are you successful as a parent, as a mom? So we're going to look at it in different words, segments. That way it will be easy for you to classify your success. Now, if you don't take out time to define what success means to you this year, then the world would help you define it if you don't know where you are going anywhere is a destination so you need to be able to define for yourself where are you going as a family this year where are you going as a youtuber this year this year for me i want to be monetized this year for me i want to hit my milestones i want to get my 1k subscribers get my watch hour and be monetized so you need to know for yourself what does success mean to you? Your ability to define success at each point in your life will give you peace. It will make you to stop competing because for yourself, you know what exactly is success at that particular point in time. For example, when my first son was starting school, that's for the first time ever, he was one year and 10 months and i was heavily pregnant with my second son at that time i had two goals for that term you know it divided into three terms first term second term and third term that's the school session so that september i had a goal as in two goals for him now the first one was for him to be able to speak clearly and the second was for him to be fully potty trained. Those were my two goals for that term. And by the end of the term, he was speaking very well. He was fully potty trained and I was successful. I was good, baby. Like I was good. 
See, you can't tell me nothing. I'm a successful mom. He's a successful boy. Now, of course, he learned other skills. He learned phonics. He learned how to mix up and he learned. But I was happy. Deep inside of me, I had achieved what I wanted to that term. And you can imagine the gift I gave the teacher that term. I'm sure she was wondering. Because I was happy. I set a particular target for myself and for my son. And he, we were able to hit that milestone. Now, that's one thing that goals does for you. It helps you to define your success. And since then, that was when he was one year, 10 months. And he's a big boy now. And since then, every term, as a parent, I have an expectation. I look at the syllabus. I look at where my child is presently. And I have an expectation. I have something that I want to see at the end of that term, at the end of that session for each of my child. And it has to be realistic based on your child's personality, based on their learning style. You know what you say, okay, at the end of this term, you should be able to write well. At the end of this term, you should be able to do, know the time. You just need to what, have an expectation. Now, that is one reason why you need to set goals. The second reason why you need to set goals is that it helps you set your priorities. When you set goals, your priorities are straight. You focus on your focus. You are not distracted because you have a goal. You know what you are looking at. You know what you are seeing. In the Bible, when Noah was told to build an ark, he had a goal. And the goal was to build an ark. And to other people right then, it didn't make any sense. Like, what is he doing? But he kept on because he, was, he had a goal. He saw something. He heard something. He knew what he was doing. And at the end of it, he achieved his aim. So you have to focus on your focus. That is one of the things that what setting goals will do for you. Setting goals as a parent, setting goals as a family, setting your financial goals, setting your career goals. It's going to help you focus on your focus. It will help you block the noise. It will help you to what? Be energized. It will give you your why. Like when you know your why, you are not easily what? Distracted. If you don't have a why, you'll be distracted. Anything goes. But when you have a why, you are what? Focused. So that is another reason why you should set goals in 2022. The third reason why you need to set goals is because it is written in the Bible. The Bible says, write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he who read it what may run with it. So if the Bible says that you should write the vision down, write the vision for your life, write the vision for your career, write the vision for your parenting style, write the vision for your business. So somehow I have this belief that when you write down your vision, when you say it, when you write it down, it has a way, the universe has a way of pushing you towards it. I've seen this come to play so many times when we were building, when we, as in, I've seen this come to play so many times when you have a goal, when you've written it down, things will start aligning in that order. Things will start aligning in that order. The universe will begin to set things in motion for you. So what are you waiting for? Write the vision. Yes, it may not look like it. Yes, it may tarry. Yes, it may look impossible, but write it down and have faith that it will come to pass. And when you write it down, you begin to see it in your mind as long as you can see it. As long as, because if you cannot see it happening, then who is going to see it for you? If you cannot see your success for yourself, who is going to see it for you? You have to be able to believe in yourself. You have to be able to trust yourself, trust the process and believe God to make it happen. So go and start writing your goals for this year, 2022. Don't hesitate. I'm going to add that you should make sure that your goals are smart. Yes, you need to set smart goals. And the S is for specific. Your goals need to be specific. You can't just say, uh, this year I want to make more new and leave it like that. No, 
how do you want to make the money? Are you trying to do a business? Are you going to get a nine to five? What are the plans for the money? How do you want it to come to pass? You have to be specific, specific goals. Remember the example I gave you about what I wanted, my expectation for that time. So now you have to be specific in every aspect of your life. Physically, you can tell yourself that this year I'm a look pink. Like this year I'm going to be glowing. I'm looking pink always. That is a goal, a very simple goal. Now, how do you achieve that goal? You have to start looking for ways to achieve that. So your goal has to be specific. In parenting, you can say, this year, I don't want to yell. I don't want to shout. You know those things that you don't want to do as a parent, and you know those things that you want to do. So what are your parenting goals for this year? You can ask yourself, what are your financial goals, career-wise? What course do you want to take? Business-wise, what do you need to do to improve your business? Do you need to take a class? Do you need to get a shop? Now, the second is M. It has to be measurable. Yes, you have to be able to measure your goals. You have to have something that is a standard for you to measure the goals. It can't just be vague. It needs to be measurable. How can you measure your goals? Next is A, which is what? Attainable. Your goals has to be something you can attain. You understand? Don't go and overdo yourself. Something you know that is possible, attainable. Now, the R stands for relevant and realistic. Your goals has to be relevant. Your goal has to be realistic. You need to be, you need to make sure that that thing you want to do is relevant. It should be realistic and relevant and it should be time bound your goal should be time bound you have to have a time bound for it it can't be forever like eh, whenever it happens it happens that's not a goal a goal has to be time bound it could be a short-term goal it could be a long-term goal. there are so many ways you can write your goals writing goals is very important and i would encourage you to take out time to write your goals this year. So I hope that you have enjoyed watching this video so far. And I hope that you are going to take out time to write your goals this year. So let me know in the comment section if you have enjoyed watching this video. And if you would love to share your goals for this year, then please go ahead and write it down in the comment section. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching today's video. And I'll see you again in my next video. Until then, stay fabulous and stay blessed. Love you and God bless you.